So if you want to use one of those skins, just type exclamation mark play, then leave a space and type the number corresponding to the uh, marble that you see. If you're play if you're watching on a resolution or a quality that's too low to see what number it is, it goes from one down to nine in the left, and then ten is Russia, um, and then it, the eleven through twenty is on the right hand side of your screen. Anyway, let's get into the first race and see what's happening. Thought an 87 with a good start here. But that can all be subject to change, of course. Uh, the start stages of marble racing usually just here to kind of weed out the Happy marbles Friday, who are not Jonathan worthy. Um, and then really figure out, okay, who is going to be the, the first few marbles in any given race. It looks like I'm, I'm in the mix somehow. Is this really me? I don't remember using the Dude RL marble, but I must have done. It doesn't randomly assign marbles to, to everybody. Or uh, marble skins to everybody these days, does it? I'm pretty excited though. We're doing good. We've not made contact with any other call. No! Why? Oh, we we're doing so well. I might have jinxed it. Let's stay on board with me though, because who cares about everybody else? I am the main character in my own life, and I want to win a marble race. Come on, through the brooms. Get out of the way, everybody else. No, no, that's not a good... Oh, that's really not a good outcome there. If we'd made it through that last row of brooms, we could have been in a good spot, but we're just slipping back. We're falling further and further behind. I think out in front is still Thorin87. Um, he's just made it through the zero gravity zone, and he's up and above uh, on the upper level. There, there's me just following through now. We'll zoom out and see what's, uh, what's going on up ahead. A couple of people have fallen down below, and I believe that that is um, a potential advantage if you can get lucky in that blender underneath, which Julian has. Look at that. Julian just launched himself into the lead um, by propelling himself in the correct direction with the blender. He's got a long way to go, though. This is quite a, a, quite a random obstacle. He's got to just win the lottery, and he's won the race. It's as simple as that, but he's got other marbles in the mix with him as well. It could go... Uh, it could be anybody's race. I think Julian has made it through first, though. Yes, indeed, he has. Can he make it into the finish line? It would need a bit of divine intervention at this point to stop him because he has done well. He stayed in front in... <gasps> I said there needed to be divine intervention! Mazabix! Literally out of nowhere! Where did he even come from? What? Are you kidding me? I do not know where Mozabix just came from. That might be the single most impressive overtaking maneuver I have ever seen in marble racing. And it was to take first place. What? Hold on a second. Where did he even come from? Hello? Was he, Did he jump all the way from this minefield? He must have done. He must have just jumped over. Yeah, it's got to be the minefield. He bypassed the... He bypassed the lottery ball entirely. Wow. That is actually quite incredible. Um, I, I don't think we could ever see a skip like that if we ran this race a hundred times again. That's outrageous. Mozabix, <laughs> congrats on what I think possibly the most impressive win I've ever seen in marbles. Uh, Spike, thanks for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Kevrock, thanks for 250 bits. Happy Friday to you. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I don't know where I came in this race. I didn't finish top 10, so we're pretty disappointed about that. Hopefully we finish the race um, hard to hard to tell because you've all joined, uh, which is great, making it hard for me to spot myself. I don't know if I'm here. Um, oh yeah, there I am. We made it. Okay, I made it into the finishing, like a uh, bin, I suppose. But it, it was just a downhill uh, slope for me uh, since the start, where we were top ten, and then I don't know where we finished. It wasn't particularly impressive, unfortunately. I still haven't seen my name. Did I scroll past? Please tell me I scrolled past my name. I don't think I did. I must have done. Like That's everybody. OSM finished last, by the way. So congratulations, OSM, on that one. Uh, anyway, let's just do a new random map. That's what you want to see. You want to see some drama at the end. But we'll get some drama at the start as well with... Um, uh, with the... Uh, what do you call it? The funnel. The gigantic funnel. You click divine intervention, but you can't share it. I don't know why that would be, my man. I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's see if anybody can make it straight down. Looks like somebody did. It's Donut Killer, Killer Pro, who uh, was first to get down the funnel and a good pace as well. But he's not been able to maintain that pace. Old man Carl is doing well for his doing well for his hip replacement. Still going strong. 
well into the 21st century. Theros is, is pressuring him from behind though. I do think that the aggression from Theros could cause Old Man some problems. But Theros has got to be careful as well if he goes to um, aggro. And, and pretty much any marble race, you've got to remember this. Like, if you're too aggressive from behind, you might just take yourself and your opponent who's in front of you out of the game, and then whoever's in third place can take the lead. So you've got to find the balance. It really is all about that balance. Yeah, for now, old man Carl doing um, very well. He's trying to put most of his weight on his left leg since the hip replacement did happen on the right-hand side. Um, but he's been practicing this for years, so no surprise to see him executing his main strategy to to perfection really he's got a lot of pressure from behind though can he ignore all the calls oh it looks like he's been overtaken zos or oh, kixa is going to take the lead but donut killer pro splits off to the right and is that going to prove to be a valuable decision it looks like it is for the time being as donut killer pro takes the lead don't know how we can how can we hotkey to donut killer pro uh, pff, okay hold on we've we can't snap to him, all right? The hotkeys don't really work very well. It, it, it's um, a back and forth right now at the front. So, so kicks that. And Donut Killer probably a bit joined by Neuroside, though. It's a three-horse race now. But all can change. The end of this race, I do think, is going to play the biggest part in who wins this. Oh, fortune for Donut Killer Pro. He slipped up there. But he got a friendly bump from behind to get him going again. So, so kicks that, though. Still, out in front, say divine intervention again. I've done it. There you go, mate. But it all comes down to this. Nobody able to thread the needle. Oh, actually, no, Neuroside did. And that is all you need to come first in a marble race sometimes. You don't have to be in first at any stage of the entire race. But if you can thread the needle in the last obstacle while everybody else is face planting a wall, you've won. Congratulations. Neuroside does take it. We actually got Bubblegun 40 in second place. I don't know where he came from. He must have gone through pretty quick as well. No sign of Johnny Boy. Shame. He's always hanging back. Not sure what he's doing. Did I see that disgrace? 4-0 uh, Belgium to Scotland. You were at Hamden. Biggest waste ever. I don't know why anybody would ever go to... I see myself. There we are. I uh, don't know why anybody would ever go to watch Scotland play Belgium. Like Belgium are actually a good team. Um... And Scotland are not on the same level, so I'm not sure why we would go do that. Like, deliberately, no, I would never deliberately go watch Scotland play Belgium. Um, no surprise there. Yakir was fourth last time, seventh now. Well, he's actually eighth, I believe, on the leaderboard up there. So, I don't know if the leaderboard in the top right is 100% accurate. We might have to wait for the for the end. It's Zoso Kicks A. Okay, well, you can forgive me for pronouncing that one wrong, I'm sure. It's a bit of a difficult one. Yeah, Yakir finished 8th this time. Well, he's, he's getting worse. He's doubled his position. Maybe he's going to be 16th next race. Oh, but then everybody else is going to be um, forgetting about him. Remember, guys, just make a Twitch account. Type exclamation mark, play in the chat, and you can have a little moment of fame. You can go say to your grandmother, look at me, I'm that marble on screen. She'll say, oh, wow. How did you manage to navigate your way through this complicated race? Did you make all of the decisions? Did you turn left? Did you turn right? Did you avoid this obstacle? Did you go straight through the hole in this like treacherous uh, little spinny thing? And to that you answer, yes, granny, I did. I was actually on board. I was in the marble. That's me making all of those turns. Um, it was very dangerous, but I'm a brave boy or girl or uh, other. Um, you don't need to tell the, the, the truth, which is, no, no gran, it's random. Um, I actually just joined, and then I uh, went to watch Netflix, and I came back, and I'd missed the race, but everybody was spamming my name, and that's how I figured out that I might have done something incredible, thought I'd won. Uh, then I went back to watch the VOD, I actually just beamed it on the last turn, died in front of all the viewers. That could be you. All you gotta do is make a Twitch account. Oh, what up, Pixel by Pixel Studios? Good to have you. This is such a, such a scam. The devs get to communicate with their game. And they said that we're all born equal in, in this world. Right, Loki. Come on, mate. You've got to hang on. When you get in front, you can't let anybody just pull you back. Uh, like in the Marvel movies. 
Earthquake 96, thanks for the prime sub, welcome to the stream. Getting subs while streaming marbles, Omega oh lol. It happens, occasionally. Oh, I, I don't disagree with that strategy to be honest. King Danny Holmes, he went for the montage play. He was trying to jump straight down to the lower level of the, of the double spiral. Um, it didn't work out this time, but I respect that. Chill Dog Nerd and Jay Dragon have managed to pull off something like that, although to a lesser degree. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes the, the bold are rewarded, and then other times they just get overtaken by someone with an American flag marble, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Jay Dragon is a ghost. Wait, what is, what is local ghost ball? I don't know what this means. I, I'm not sure what this means. Somebody needs to help me out here. Is it the... Oh, it's the local record. Oh, look at that. That's really clever. So Jay Dragon is actually not in this race. This is uh, the marble from the fastest finisher on my stream. So we're actually on track right now for a local record. That's pretty exciting. Come on, Chili Dog Nerd. You better hurry it up because Jay Dragon, uh, the local ghost ball, is going to hit a first timer. Oh, no, he's not. He's hit... Um, Actually, not even a second timer. Oh, was it? Okay, it might have been a second timer on the on the pop up here. Chili Dog Nerd is missing it. He's yeah, he's choking at that. I don't know if he's gonna have any chance now. J Dragon straight into the bin, and there he is finishing underneath the local Ghost Ball record. Will remain for at least one more race. Chili Dog Nerd, I think, still uh, the favorite here. But hold on, he's messing up, and then comes Spaznips, and just like that. We have a victor. Oh no. Chili Dogner is not even there. I don't think he even made top 10. That is a disaster. That is an absolute disaster. He's first place by a mile. By an absolute mile. And he's not just been first place, he's been the podium. Top 10 in the bin. Um, but hey, at least you're not Farky RL. Could, like, it could be worse. This is the silver lining right here. You know, we might have thrown away first place. But hey, at least we're not Farky RL. There's always a silver lining. <laughs> Let's, uh, come on, hurry up, Farky. We're all waiting on you, mate. We want to play other races tonight. We don't want to just play this one. Right, it's Farky versus Rosa for the biggest bean of the race. Oh! Hey, but a one-pop shop for Farky. Where did he go? Did he? He didn't die, did he? Okay, he's not dead. Okay, here he is. Rosa and Forky, still. Two horse race, can Forky hit the chicane properly? No, he's decided to make a couple of laps and now in comes Rosa. Rosa also not straight into the bin. Gavin's been here for years, it seems. Nobody making contact. Contact would be welcome if two players can make contact, then they're probably both gonna drop in. Gavin leaves. Oh, there it is, Forky! Manages to bump Rosa out of the way and he is gonna take second last. Almost as exciting as a race for first place. All right, let's get into another one, boys. All right, how is it going, boys? The marbles are still entering. I like it. I like it. We're almost up to 300 marbles. That's not bad for this time of night. Not bad at all. I encourage everybody who's not made a Twitch account and is just sitting here watching the stream, man. You're not typing in chat. You don't want to be social. That's fine. You know, we're not all uh, going to get in involved in Twitch chat and start typing away and having little arguments with people but all you got to do to enter the marble race is type exclamation mark play in the chat as the marble race is starting and you get to be a marble which not only makes the race um, possible for yourself to win but it makes it harder for everybody else to win so that's a bonus like a little bonus. it's always nice to make other people's lives worse just so that yours could be better in comparison um, unfortunately for Ando, he's not going to be able to take the local Ghost Balls record. DNA still holding on to that one. Um, but still, I think first place by a good margin. Ando, congratulations on your first win um, on the stream. At least I believe it's your first win. You missed a join by half a millisecond. That's unfortunate. That's why you should play, or that's why you should be watching on your phone as well. So you can, when you go to the bathroom, you can uh, join from the bathroom. Remember that if you're going to play this race, it is unwise to jump down to the lower level. You might be thinking that avoiding this uh, very obvious landing pad and going straight into the funnel instead is a smart move, but you would be wrong. It's uh, It takes much longer to go through the funnel um, and then finish across this flat section than it does just continue along the top. 
No funnel and a little ramp to speed you up at the end. Um, Sig RL, not quite as fast as uh, Top Gear Sig, rounding us off here in last place. Well, let's just get right into another one. We're just going to churn out the races. Tent man, welcome back with another tier 3. Six months in a row. Man, we've had a lot of tier 3s tonight. I do appreciate that, buddy. I hope all these are deliberate. Listen, remember, you've got to, you've got to un, like, you've got to remember to un, or no, cancel your resubscription, your automatic Twitch resubscription if you tier 3 sub and you only intend it to be one month, or else it's going to do it again the next month. Like pretty much every other subscription service on Earth, but I feel obliged to tell you that. Because um, a few people have accidentally tier 3 subbed for multiple months in a row and then be like, uh, Johnny, didn't mean to do this, like, love you, but I didn't mean to do this twice in a row. Is there any way to get it reverted? Which I believe there is, if, it, if you catch it right after it happens. Um, but not many days after it happens, so you got to be on that. The way I do it, if I sub to somebody but I want it to be a one-time subscription on Twitch and I don't want to resub, I just want to sub to them once and that's it because I don't really watch their stream, but I want to sub to them that one day that I caught them. Um, I'll probably just go to my subscriptions page and then uh, like click the don't renew subscription button that same day Just do it when you subscribe. So the same thing if you want to sub to me just once um, I'd encourage you to go to your sub page immediately after and then click the don't renew button and it won't auto renew um, And charge you the next month as well. That's so you can avoid those unfortunate accidental repayments Do we not have a ghost ball on this map or is, is the ghost ball just really really slow like why? Oh wait a minute there he is so are we just that far ahead of the ghost ball? Or was the ghost ball really, really slow? Was everybody slow last time we did this? Because right now our ghost ball is way back. Mozabix. Oh, it's because Mozabix does a skip. Maybe we can watch him. Is he going to do the skip that we saw at the start of the video? I'm actually kind of excited. He's going to do the skip. Mozabix is miles back. But he, he might still beat um, our current first place, Zcor. Oh, never mind. Stefki. Oh, look at that. Somebody just tried to skip. Not going to work out, though. Let's zoom out a little bit and see what's happening. So where's Mozabix? He's still way back. Mozabix didn't even go across the bottom. He came off the top. We've already got somebody into the lottery right now. But Mozabix is coming. Local Ghost Balls hit a little bit of a... <gasps> Whoa! Okay, Luke X Mihai has done it. There's Mozabix. This is the, the ball that won last race. Look at that. Just way up high and straight into the bin. That's insane. We've had two winners that have just jumped straight into the bin. I don't believe that. That's actually insane. Luke X has replicated Mozabix's journey to victory. I think Mozabix was going to finish third or fourth if he was actually in this race. So we have it. We've beaten the track record for our stream. We've not beaten the like worldwide track record like we did last time we streamed. I think we broke three of them in a row, which was insane. Um, but still, that's that's pretty cool. Cam Ronald, thanks for 100 bits. I appreciate that, buddy. 11th or something, let's go. I'm just zoomed out in case we see anybody making this impossible jump. That was cool. I want to make sure that we're not... Uh, no, we're not really blocking anything with the chat. That's good. The chat doesn't really get in the way too much if I keep uh, everything in the middle of the in the middle of the screen but yeah this one does take a while because a lot of people are gonna get stuck in here I think they're all gonna die here comes the it's pretty hard to see in this level but here comes the line of death that's gonna eliminate everybody uh, and goodbye 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 Ryan is probably not gonna make it as well unless he really hurries up now nah, he's not made it GG's if you want to you like get a sub streak going for for any streamer with your Twitch Prime account, then you need to come back and sub every single month. So, if you're if you're a regular in their chat, you're probably gonna know you're gonna type something, and you'll see that you don't have the sub icon anymore. You'll be like, "Oh, my Twitch Prime's run out. Uh, let me just resub and get that back." But if you're not, if you're someone who only swings by every once in a while, then you're probably going to have to um, you're probably gonna have to. Uh, set a reminder, like say, okay, on the 30th of every month, I need to remember to come and resub with Twitch Prime, like J Striker X. So he's just subbing for the first time with Twitch Prime, which is equally appreciated, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Hey, listen, Mr. Gims and Fishu have absolutely mastered the start of this race. They didn't just bypass the first obstacle by pure avoid avoiding, or purely avoiding it. But the second one as well, they were not quite as quick um, getting out of that colander type of funnel thing. Um, 
but Mr. Grimms or Mr. Gims is still in front by a fair margin. He should be dropping into the second funnel. At least a couple of rotations ahead of the man behind him. Never mind, I might be a goat is completely up his bum. I didn't realize that um, someone was going to be this this close to Mr. Gims, who's made a couple of contacts here. Unfortunately, though, for uh, I might be a goat, he's also hit some roadworks. Fisho 8 is back in front. What an interesting race we've seen here. Usually when you see somebody dip away from the, to, from the front runners, you don't see them again. They're just gone. So it's interesting to see some names coming back. We actually have a bit of a storyline here. All right, Mr. Gims decides to go central. And a good line. And he gets a skip as well. What a play by Mr. Gims. Is he going to be able to accelerate? Yes, he is. We've got another couple of players skipping. It. Mr. Gims needs to hurry up because everybody else is catching up. But so far, he's played this one very, very well. He's skipped a lot of obstacles, but hold on. Arzan12 has skipped even more, and there's Barely Pros, the local ghost ball, the current track record for our stream. Who's going to make it first out of this spinny hazardous, whatever you want to call it, item? Oh my days, we might have a new track record. No, it's actually going to be Barely Pros holding on to it. MKTF2 takes first place in the race, but no track record. Unfortunate second place in that regard. Arzan is going to come in, followed by... Um, Earthquake, Steph K, Mr. Gims, and DH Dragon. We've got no more sign of um, who was the other boy that he uh, he was showing up in first place a couple of times this race. There was one other marble, but I've forgotten his name at this point. Um, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I really hope that Marble Racing introduced like a a series um, marble race option where you could do like three races in a row. Um, the first race could have a cap of 500 marbles. And then the second race uh, is the 50 marbles that finished in in front in the first race. So the first 50 marbles finished the first race are the marbles, the only marbles in the second race. And then the top 10 from that race are the only marbles in the third race. That would be pretty cool if you could do like a, a, a trifecta. Because then you can have a st like potential for storylines. There's me. Good stuff. Still have, still have never won. Uh, J Striker X, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. I think I said that at the start of the race, but I do appreciate that. Yeah, hopefully what I said made sense with all this automatic resub. And if you sub with real money for a sub, uh, well, obviously it's always real money in some sense because you have to pay for Amazon Prime to get Switch Prime sub. But if you sub with uh, an actual like monetary transaction, just a tier one sub, um, then yeah, that's going to also renew. Notorious RL just went straight. He's just completely threaded the needle there. Was last, and now he's at least going to finish, I think, fifth last. But yeah, Twitch Prime subs you got you come you have to come back and renew them yourselves. Um, if you're if you want to get a sub streak going on somebody's stream. You've only got a two week window to do that. If you want to keep your sub streak going, you must resub, I think, uh, within two weeks of your sub running out. Or else you're gonna lose your streak and you have to start all over again. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain if anybody does that though. Like if you lose your streak on my stream, that's totally fine. You know, no big deal. Definitely get stuck in, you gotta be quick though. You've only got, as of the time of me saying this, um, like a day almost to, to get your roster locked in for week one. So hurry, hurry up. I'll accept the first people, like first come, first serve. So the faster you join, the faster, or the more likely you will be to be accepted to my fantasy league. Sorry for everybody who doesn't make it in. Um, and don't worry if you don't make it in, you can still compete against um, me and everybody in my league on the world leaderboard. Unlucky there, Shimakuro. Last race of the day, 300 marbles. I'm trying to uh, lock on to one of these marbles, but it's pretty hard to do so because they're all racing ahead. Hold on. Uh, is anybody ha have no chill? Is he? Yeah, the number three. There we go. Ah, oh, he's died as well for crying out loud. Will people stop dying? Can somebody just have a good race here? Everybody, everybody's flying all over the place. We don't have anybody in front. Kind of like this race. So, so many marbles dying. What is happening? Right, gigantic. Um, Gabzilla, Tunery Arcos, Sharky, and Raspberry look like they're the first into this section. Diabolical Ace and Tenergi H. Acos, uh, Arcos rather, first to make it out of the broom cupboard. This is just all changing though. We've got Zikor now, um, and he overtook Nodek and, and Raspberry. Oh, Sharky was back, but Sharky is gone. Goodbye to Sharky, and he is no more. Gabzilla in first, just gonna make it through another. Broom going. Are you serious? How does this keep happening? What? That's a new world record. That is a new world record. A gummy zombie. Where did he even come from? How did he manage to stick that landing? 
What? This is outrageous. Like, I can't keep up with this stuff. I actually just can't. Too much happens at the end here. That's a world record. New world record for a gummy zombie. And he was flying when he landed in the bin. He was moving so fast, he'd barely come into our field of vision when he actually won the race. <laughs> he was just like, New Marble has entered the... It was like, New Marble has entered the arena. Well, New Marble has won. Yep. Try keeping up with that. <laughs> in, in real time. Good luck. Do the same race now to see what happened. He fin well, I'll tell you what happened. The Gummy Zombie finished the race a little bit faster than this Muppet who's crawling into last place. Um, that's not a bad idea. To finish off the stream today, because I've got to hop off uh, a bit earlier tonight. Not, uh, earlier than midnight. I want to get to bed um, earlier today. Because I'm, I'm going to be streaming earlier tomorrow. Before RLCS NA. So, looking forward to that. Should be fun. But what we're going to do for this race is we're going to do our, uh, for the last race. I said this would be the last race of the evening. But since we got a new track record, a Gummy Zombie just got a world record on this one by 8 seconds. We're going to race again on this same map. Um, and instead of following along with uh, the race, we're going to follow a Gummy Zombie. The track record for my stream... Um, which a gummy zombie holds. Uh, it, he'll he'll be a ball in here as well. It'll say local ghost ball, a gummy zombie. Um, I mean, if somebody beats his record, then we've had back-to-back -back world records. That would be pretty cool as well. But it's most likely going to be um, the ghost ball winning this race. Most likely. Because that was world record by a mile. So if somebody beats that, I don't know what to say. Um, let's see if we can find him, first of all. Where is... The ghost of all, a gummy zombie. Where did he start off? There he is. So, not the best start for a gummy zombie. You can see him, he's a slightly sky blue color. I'll try and keep him uh, somewhat in the middle of the screen for you guys. It's pretty hard to see. He's got a very long name, though. There he is, local ghost ball. So, he did not start well at all. But this is not a race where you need to start well, of course, uh, by the looks of things. We're going to be trying to keep up with this one. He didn't do a really, he didn't have a bad start. There's a gummy zombie, still in the mix of things. I mean, he's about one section behind everybody else but let's see where he picks up and really starts to accelerate there's there are a lot of accelerations in this one okay so he got really really stuck in this broom cupboard um but does get back out makes another hard contact N really not leading from the front at all um i mean this is a completely new race by the way this is not um a replay this is a new race a gummy zombies ghost ball is going to be not making any contact with any of the marbles in this race Look at that, he's way back. Is he really going to be able to close up this distance? I mean, we've got a lot of marbles who are way out in front now. They could be threatening his record. Whoa, no way. You've got to be kidding me. Is that really how he did it? Oh my days. He jumped from so far back. And I think he even landed. I think he landed here. Like on this uh, on this surface and then bounced in. I'm pretty sure there was a bounce there as well. As if it wasn't dramatic enough. But yeah, Gummy Zombie did uh, did win this race. I'm pretty sure he... <laughs> well, his Ghost Ball won this race. Not meaning to take anything away from Paolo Cruz 11 who won this actual race. Like you were the first real marble to make it in here. But a Gummy Zombie track record is something else. Yeah, he bounced in. That's mad. I knew that it looked like he did that because I saw him flying in and I was like, he is so low. Like he landed so low to our field of view. Another one. Oh, you're getting addicted now. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are always like, why is this so fun? I see a lot of comments on uh, Marble Racing like, why is this so entertaining? Why do people do this? I can't believe I just watched a 30 minute marble video, but yeah, it is fun. If you, if you want a little bit of information about it, I mean, you just have to be watching my Twitch chat uh, when I'm doing marble racing to to get involved. And then you just have to type exclamation mark play in the chat uh, to get a marble to spawn into any of the races I'm doing. Um, I do tweet every time that I'm going to go live on Twitch. I don't always know what content I'm going to be streaming, so I can't promise to say uh, or, you know, tweet. Um, like I'm going to be streaming marbles this stream but I will tweet every single time that I go live so following me on Twitter is probably the best way to to catch all my streams oh goodbye 
Jill's Charlie, he knew he figured out he's gonna be last. He was like, you know what's better than being last? Suiciding. And there he goes. So that's it for this uh this marble session. That's gonna be it for this stream, Heinz. I appreciate all uh, all of you guys tuning in.